who are upholding neoliberal positions, who are implementing neoliberal corporatization policies. In spite of that, our position is that we are saying that there are many ruling class parties, many parties who are implementing neoliberal policies. Even though they are implementing neoliberal policies, we are not characterizing them as fascists. According to our evaluation, we should make a clear differentiation between the fascist parties and non-fascist parties. So BJP and its allies who are in power, BJP, RSS and BJP, and those who are allied with it, why we call them the fascist section, there are those ruling class parties, opposition parties, ranging from the Congress to the CPA, CPM sections, who are also, even though implementing the very same policies which are implemented by the fascists at the centre, for example, in here we are in Kerala, the Kerala Punarai government is implementing the very same neoliberal corporatization policies which are being implemented by Modi regime at the centre. And even more sharply, I, I, I am not going into those details. Similarly, they have no qualm, they have no hesitation in implementing UAPA. That means, and other said, such a, a, a black laws, that means like, about, about anti-democratic, these laws of the people. So they are abundantly using, for example, the CPM during the past five years, as implemented, imposed 151 UAPA cases in Kerala, 151 during the past five years. This is the situation. Still, we are not calling them fascists. But wherever they are in power, as the Communist International has already mentioned, social democrats, wherever in power, they are, their policies are like fascists. But we are not saying them fascists. But their policies are like fascists. In spite of that, we say that there, there is a border spectrum of non-fascist ruling class parties. This is one division which we have to mention, the fascist section and the non-fascist section. And we know that we are also not in a position to lead, to take up a leadership role in the anti-fascist struggle today. We know our limitations. But at the same time as communists, we should have a position on the anti-fascist movement. So we should always see that Fascism is a particular case. It is not a general situation of neoliberal or ruling class position. It is a specific situation where the most reactionary, the most terrorist section of the finance capital, corporate capital or ruling class who are in power. So at any cost, it is the solemn duty of all people, whether they are communists or non-communist. It is the duty of all those to defeat fascism. So in that task, it is our duty to take a correct ideological position. On that question, we should have clear-cut clarity.